What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about how not being on social media and Snapchat for four years and how quitting all other social media apps recently is changing my life financially, socially and in terms of personal development. If you would like more videos related to self-development, make sure to subscribe down below as I will be uploading a lot of those type of videos in the upcoming months. With that said, let's just dive right into that video. So prior to quitting social media, I had a love and hate relationship with social media. Some months I will be really active and others I will not even be active for weeks. The longest time I've ever gone without social media is six months, which was back in 2017, which I made a video about, by the way, if you want to watch it over here. But because I was on and off a couple of times, I wasn't really firm in my decision to completely remove social media as a part of the things I do on a day-to-day -day basis. That completely changed when I made a decision to quit social media overnight. So quitting social media, even just for the two months I have been off, has completely changed me in different ways. For starters, not being on social media has completely changed my perspective of myself in relation to other people and other people's success. When I was on social media, I would find myself comparing myself to other people's daily lives. And because I was constantly following and consuming other people's lives a lot during a day, I found myself being solely focused on the things that I had little to no benefit to the quality of my life. Sometimes it would be how many followers that person had, what kind of style they had, the way they were posing or what they said in their caption and how they said it. And this was such an unhelpful behavior for me for the way I wanted to lead my life. When I quit social media, however, this changed like overnight. Not being on social media and using that time I was on social media to deploy my attention to personal development has helped me shift my attention from being the type of person that will try to keep up and compete with other people's business to become a more problem solver type in my own life. Just from the two months that I have been off. Another change that not being on social media has propelled is my ability to enter a flow state of work and deeply focus on complex tasks for hours straight. When I was on social media, I would catch myself checking my phone every five to ten minutes for a quick break. Now that I'm not on social media, I don't have that problem anymore, which has resulted in me becoming more efficient, and productive. As a result, because I don't have how influencers and celebrities and the people I used to follow in my head constantly, not being on social media has completely sharpened the way I think and produce results in my daily life. A shocking but pleasant change I've noticed just recently is that because I don't spend any time planning what kind of content I'm going to post on Instagram, worrying and making decision of what I'm going to post, when I should post it, be active to increase my engagement and gain more followers, I can now use that time to transfer and deploy all that energy that I was using on content planning to other areas in my life. And because of this, in the two months that I have been off of social media, particularly Instagram, I'm not spending as much time on buying clothes because I don't really feel the need to. And because I'm not buying more clothes and makeup, I've been able to save twice as much as I previously did when I was on social media. And since I freed up so much time, I'm now able to focus intensely on my business, gain clarity and make better and better decisions in my personal and professional life. A very surprising change that I honestly believe is directly correlated with me not being on social media is the way guys and men approach me. When I was out and about taking care of my business and whatnot, I haven't been really on my phone. And because of this, I have started to notice how many guys actually look directly at me and try to make eye contact with me. It's really strange because when I was on social media, I would have my face glued to my phone and never really come across anyone I didn't know that would want to start a conversation with me, let alone trying to get my attention. I kid you not, the same month I stopped using social media, I had two guys come up to me and ask 
asked me for my number. I was kind of like, all right. I mean, I get attention when I'm out about from time to time, but this was on a completely different level. To give you guys an idea of why I think it's because I'm not on social media, I was at the library. The library was closing and I was just about to leave. And on the floor I was at, it was literally me and this other guy. And we were kind of heading into the same elevator. I noticed that he looked at me but I couldn't really tell if he was looking at me or at me you know but I could tell that he was handsome but I just kept on walking and when we were in the elevator I didn't pick up my phone I just had my both hands uh, in my jacket like this and I was just looking up at the floor we were on and at the moment I saw that he picked up his phone and literally moments later put it back in his pocket I wasn't paying too much attention to him but then he literally turned and was like so did you get a lot of reading done anyways um he seemed like a cool guy but not much happened after that after this incident however I have met at least three guys just by not being on my phone and because of this I would say that I become more approachable with that said that is how quitting social media is changing and has changed my life for those of you who are thinking about quitting social media for an extended period of time I would say if you don't have a business or work connected to social media just go for it if you however do have a business or a popular profile with which provides an extra income. It's definitely a little bit more trickier, but not impossible to get completely off of social media. If it's however something you want to follow through with to get more work done or give more attention to other areas of your life, there are three questions I would like you to think about. The first question is why do you have a desire to quit social media? And what do you tend to do with the time you freed up with not being on social media? Secondly, is social media an important factor in the way you run your business and lastly will social media handicap you financially if the answer to the second and last question is no I would say just go for it because you have more to gain from not being on social media than you have to lose by not being on social media and if you do quit social media use the time that you are not on social media deliberately that is it for today's video if you found this video helpful give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe down below for more videos on how you can start that side hustle build a business and create the dream life you want while creating success and impact in the process until next time have an amazing day bye